Coming to you live from Nashville, Tennessee, where dreams are made and fame is just a boot scoot away. It's the Nashville Entertainment Weekly Show, the new show with your host, T.J. Gates. So welcome to your premiere, World Wide Premiere. I saw you at the Anderson Buffet Committee of your first music game that you had, uh, music, uh, a few months ago. Yeah, yeah. Just, uh, then until we got to see a preview of it. Yeah. I still got another ticket tonight, so I'm pretty excited. Awesome, man. Well, you know what? It's good to have you, and uh, the, the support from the Nashville area on this thing is outrageous, man. It's well, it's awesome. because you're coming to Nashville. You know, you got the book, you got the music. And... Yeah, you know, and it, it, what's really cool about being in this movie is not just the opportunity to be in a movie, but being a music guy myself and the connection with all the music and how it was written and what it's about. Um, what an honor, man. And we're doing it in, in Music City, USA. That's awesome. All right, let's talk about that. How did you get to be part of this? Because I heard a story I want to hear from you. I was, I was actually rehearsing with my band at a rehearsal studio here uh, in Nashville, and the producer was friends with the guy who owned the studio, and that's how it happened. That's kind of cool. Yeah, you know, it's uh, dumb luck, and I've been blessed with a lot of that. It's dumb luck, man. It's just been the right place the right time. You're blessed. Dumb luck. Like the bread line and the soup line. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's how cop that was. Oh, is that? That's, <laughs> that's great. Man. Ray Liotta, dude. Are you kidding me? I was like, they said you want to stay that night. I'm like, well, who is it? And he said Ray Liotta. Like, yeah, I can say that. So how did you get these people to be part of this movie? The story, man. They it's just felt. They felt. I saw it a few weeks ago. I saw oh, you. Did. Okay, okay, I got to come up to the screen. Yeah. Like, you invited him and didn't know it. Yeah, cool. Well, hey, you know, like, I know it's great still. So. Yeah, I know. Uh, they just, they love the, they, they love the, the story. Uh, music driven, uh, family driven, uh, faith driven, miracle driven. It was all great. Yeah. You were in the movie. And everybody was laughing when they saw <laughs> yeah, you. Exactly. How did that happen? That's right. If you know me, you laugh, you know, but if you don't, it's so all everybody right. recognized you. All right. So let's talk about the part that you played in the movie. How did that come out? Well, uh, it came out, we were looking for a record executive, and uh, they were having trouble passing it. And so my son, director Justin Marcel, said, Dad, you've been a record executive for 30 years. What are you doing? You know? I said, okay, I'll hook you up. So cool. I'll hook you up. Now, your father was a producer also, right? He is a producer. Did he produce a producer? Did he produce a uh, no, he, uh, Michael Smith's number one record in 72 was Rock and Robin. I saw the Jackson 5. He produced the Jackson 5 all, from 70 to 78. All the Motown hits Jerry was involved in. You know? yeah. And in this movie, of course, Jerry and I wrote and produced the music based on the area and what we lived out. So it's all original, but people keep going, what's that hit? Where's, what's that hit record for? You know, and they, because it feels like a hit from the era. And everybody, in the, everybody in the theater is singing along with the movie. And they're all singing. Yeah, they're doing that. Yeah, they did. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be good. It's going to be big. I'm excited for you. Excited about it. Well, thank you very much for your time. I enjoyed everything. Yeah. Great meeting you. I'll see you later tonight. Hey, man. That's what we're doing. Let's go. Swagger. No, he ain't got that little clip in his chin. He ain't